I think you need to cool it on the double espresso shots. I don't drink caffeine. It makes me break out. Well, something has to be wrong. You have your elbows on the table, Miss Manners. Oh, whoa there. Let's not throw around the gender stereotypes. Let's just say he's being, uh, slumpty dumpty. I am so sorry. Oh no, don't worry about us. Worry about your future constituents. What's wrong, Don? You can talk to us. I don't know. Um, do you think it's possible to be too nice? Like in a kill him with kindness kind of way? No, no, um, I had this writer, and she was so nervous. I just wanted to put her at ease. I don't think I was very helpful, though. What do you mean? I spent so much time trying to make her feel good that we didn't get much done. Do you want to talk, talk about, about it? it? You always help me when I'm feeling stuck So let me help you when you feel you suck Cause you're amazing And when you start doubting Do you maybe want to talk? Sorry to interrupt, but your 2 p.m. appointment portal is here. Very good, yep, oh, okay, yep, yes sir. Hey, Paula? Well, let's take a seat. Okay. Hi. I have this draft and uh, it, it needs all the help it can get. Well. You'll see. I'd rather you read it out loud, that way I can take some notes. Awesome, outstanding, I have some notes. Oh no, let's get this over with. Well for starters, I thought your paper was really good. Really? This is arguably one of the best papers I have ever read. Really? Why? What did you like about it? The font? Excellent choice. And the margins? Exactly one inch. I think this puts you in the upper echelon of writers. Um... We're arguably the best writer this side of the Mississippi. And this paper? Is that eggshell? Excellent choice. Oh, John, I know it's in your nature to be diplomatic, but you don't have to treat her like a t-ball player. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with a little praise, but yeah, I'd have to agree with Tara on that one. I know, I know. She was just so nervous, and I just like telling people what they want to hear. What we want to focus on is boosting her self-confidence in an authentic way. Mm-hmm. According to Bosco Gelati in 2013, from a motivational point of view, self-perception of competence is closely connected to an individual's involvement in writing. If a writer doesn't believe in themselves, treating them like a t-baller makes her up won't change that. But being willing to offer criticism shows that you think they can handle it on their own. McClellan, 2005, didn't advise students to skip praise altogether, but rather change the type that was used. Process versus person praise, right? Right. Which is? Person praise is when your praise is directed toward who the writer is, saying something like, you're a good writer, which isn't very constructive. Process praise is directed towards the efforts or strategies used by the writer, like saying, this transition you used here is quite effective at connecting these two ideas seamlessly. And don't be afraid to point out negatives. Unless it's the other candidate, right? It's important to point out writer's errors so that he- Or she. Or she can fix them and grow from them. There is also person criticism and process criticism. Process criticism is specific to strategies used. For example, your conclusion didn't sum up your argument as effectively as it could have. Versus, I'm disappointed in you. You've let down this great nation. Exactly. You think maybe this writer received a lot of the wrong kind of criticism and that's why she's so nervous around me? That's highly likely. That makes a lot of sense. 
Now, instead of blindly praising, I can work on giving process praise as well as constructive criticism. Then she should start to feel more comfortable around you and be more open to feedback in general. Thanks, Tara, for working so hard to remember all those studies. And thank you, Riley, for making the distinction between process and person praise. I'll be sure to put this all into practice. That's what we're here for. <gasps> Are there any open appointments? Hey Paula, I'm free this hour. I'd be happy to work with you. As much as an ego boost would be nice... No, I promise I'll be constructive. Just tell me what you really think. Okay, one thing I noticed was that your first point here doesn't line up with your second point here. Huh. It made sense in my outline. Wow, that's a really thorough outline. It shows you're willing to put in the extra work necessary to make a great paper. Much, by the way, this was so much more helpful. I feel like I